Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday morning. It is snowing here in Wisconsin. Spring can't be here early enough. Waiting for an order, but I wanted to do a quick video and uh, respond to uh, one of the subscribers, Phil Work. And he says, I think I found a perfect way to scam DoorDash. I hate to use the word a scam, but it may actually be the perfect word. $2.50 earned for every dollar spent. I want to hear an opinion before I go overboard and end up in jail. <laughs> and honestly, Phil, I think that I already, I don't even know your question, but I've already seen it, I think. Because I was thinking the same thing the other day. But this morning, the first song that popped on my radio was Running With The Devil. <laughs> And the, the, the lyrics of that song start off with, I live my life like there's no tomorrow. Everything I had, I had to steal. But at least I'm not begging or borrowing. And, you know, being a delivery driver, we have these moral questions every day that were temptation is there it's in front of us ways to scam the system ways to get over ways to do shortcuts and there's shortcuts and then there's doing stuff that we know is wrong and i yesterday or day before yesterday doordash sent me an order for all these it paid seven dollars and fifty cents to go one mile and deliver one gallon of milk. The gallon of milk costs $2.50. I got paid $7.50 to deliver one gallon of milk one mile. I was like, why don't I just order a gallon of milk myself, sit at the Aldi's, take priority orders, get the order, pick it up, take the gallon of milk home, collect $5 profit, more or less free milk and five dollars profit and then go back and do it again and just do it all day long i don't know if that's the scam you're thinking about phil but that's the thing that popped in my head and at that time i was like you know that ain't right that is not going to be profitable for the company or you know it's getting money and it's not criminal but it ain't right. And for me, me and my brother were talking last week and he was like, when did you find your moral compass? And I kind of was like, what? He's like, cause when I was a teenager, I was a delinquent. Me and my friends, I grew up in a single parent household. My father died when I was very young. My friends, either their parents were divorced or their parents were alcoholics. There was always an absent parent in the house, which example of when kids make poor decisions and bad decisions. But my brother asked me, when did you find your moral compass? And I think it was like when I got into the military and, you know, if you steal something in the military, you're either going to go to non-judicial punishment or you're going to get your butt kicked, you know? So you learn real quick, right or wrong, you do the right thing all the time. And I don't, I mean, I'm human. I make mistakes. I sin. I do things like everybody else, but I tried to walk a path of being a good person and doing the right thing. So I don't take the temptation. I seen a YouTube video or a TikTok the other day of a Walmart spark customer that was pissed off because she was out in the front yard playing with her daughter and they were taking pictures and she had set her phone down in the grass like their dog ran off. So she set her phone down, ran to get the dog. Walmart spark driver pulled up with the groceries, delivered the groceries and on the way out saw this iPhone laying in the grass and didn't have the moral fortitude just to leave it there or to say, hey, did you drop this phone or, you know picked up the iPhone and took it and it was all caught on their ring camera. And, you know, it's sad that we see things like that where there's grifters, there's scammers. Um, the one, uh, guy that does the, the no tipper 
thing, right? Another grifter out there. He does these videos that go viral where he's like, hey, $1 tipper. And he puts like their pizza box on his roof and drives down to the road. And it gives like all of us a bad name, a bad look as delivery people. And if you're a full-time driver like me, you care about things like that. It rubs you. But everybody's going to do their own thing. There's all kinds of grifters, scammers, people trying to get over. And, you know, just do the right thing. And I think life will treat you well. You play in the dark air, gray area. You won't have anybody to blame but yourself when things go awry. So hopefully you guys get some value out of this. Enjoy your Sunday. Like, subscribe, and we'll hit you on the next one.